Hello, Zebra developers. I'm, I'm happy to be here in this new event, the Zebra DevCon 2021. And I would like to uh, present today uh, the Zebra City Sprinter for e-commerce. Um, I'm going to talk about a little more myself. So I am Manuel Caicedo Rivera. I work for uh, the ISB validation team. Uh, my role is basically to support uh, ISVs to integrate their tools, uh, integrate Zebra tools into the uh, applications. Through this um, presentation, uh, the agenda for today will cover the target market. Um, we will see how we are enabling ISVs. We will talk about the uh, small business ecosystem and uh, how we envision the ISVs to play with us in this new market, of this, this new market for Zebra. Okay, so the target market. So uh, you uh, have seen for a long time that Zebra have been in the enterprise market, supporting multiple uh, thermal printers. And uh, that is a system market that we wanna support and continue doing. Uh, into that, we have already established portfolio with uh, mm, desktop printers, uh, mobile printers, and industrial printers. So, and through the market, you can see here that all of those uh, printers will be continue supporting the uh, medium and large market. But for the small business, what we call Soho, so a small home business less than 20 employees, a micro, uh, micro business, less than 10 employees, we released this new printer, the Soho or it's, it's CSB printer in two inches and four inches with the uh, expectation that we cover this small business, make the things easier. And we wanna cover through this presentation, all of the aspects and tools that we have done for this new printer. So the first thing that we wanna talk about is about the benefits of the printer and how we uh, develop this new printer. So the first thing that you can see on the right side is our printer is easy to use. It's just you put the uh, cartridge, very simple, on the printer, close the door, and that's it. That's all that you need to do in order to start to work. And um, the printer support Bluetooth low energy, uh, support Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth low energy will be only available to set up the initial connection with the printer through the mobile uh, application. Wi-Fi is uh, the way that the printer will be connecting through uh, our uh, cloud. This is the first print cloud printer enabled, so that doesn't use USB connection, only will be working through cloud and Wi-Fi. So it's important to have Wi-Fi in order to use this printer. And also we have a simplified the way to integrate with third party software integration. Part of the presentation today is to let you know exactly how you can play with our printer if you have a, a, specific, a specific application in the market. Um, also, we wanna talk about the cloud connectivity, how to use that from iOS and from Android and uh, how to use our new lab, uh, design label software in order to create uh, very powerful labels for your needs. Okay, re let's review here uh, the new ecosystem. The expectation is that we are providing with this new ecosystem a full new user experience for our end users in, in the e-commerce market. So we are providing a full new packaging for this we are, uh, adding a mobile app that you need to use in order to set up the printer to the cloud. Also, you have a microsite where you can go and get the last videos, uh, support, and everything you need in order to work with our printer. Uh, into the same uh, microsite, there is a, a web portal uh, that allows you to design labels. We have already created a bunch of labels that you can use as a templates. Uh, for the different nets that may you need. In addition to that, we have been integrating um, our third parties to our printers. Uh, you will see through the process of this presentation how we have done that. In addition to that, if you go through the Microsoft, you will be able to talk to our uh, dedicated agents if you have any questions. Okay, 
through the mobile app and the word, uh, portal workspace, what you can do. So you can do here many things. One of the things is that you can register your printer first. After you have registered your printers, you are able to use your templates of the ones that we have a post in advance for you. We have developed a very nice sample uh, of uh, different templates for the different needs. Uh, could be shipping labels, could be uh, barcode labels, any other ones, but all of them based on the cartridge size that we are providing with this printer. In addition to that, you can just set up the printer in just simple three steps and uh, through the mobile app. So basically you connect the printer to Bluetooth, then you connect the printer to Wi-Fi, then you personalize your experience through the mobile app and that's it, that's all that you need to do for this initial setup. Okay, how we are enabling ISPs? So this is the uh, high level architecture that we developed for this new product. Through this, we are providing different ways that we are enable, uh, enabling our ISVs. So the first way that we did successfully was through uh, the driver option. So through the driver, you can see here, uh, you can uh, connect your, uh, I, your applications, uh, even it is through uh, uh, any Apple device. Uh, so um, could be, or through any, uh, Windows device. So you can use even Mac computer or you can use a Windows PC computer in order to download the driver and start to work with the uh, our Soho printer uh, or a small business printer. So here again, how that works, the first, pre, uh, the first part of the process is how you set up the printer. So you set up the printer through Bluetooth via Bluetooth low energy. Then after that, the, the mobile app have found your printer, then goes to set up the Wi-Fi from your mobile device, your local network in your home office or any, uh, any location where you have the printer. Then here is how that works. That connects directly through our cloud. The cloud ver verifies your registration um, configuration, then you will be able to start to work with our printer using the driver. Okay, let's go how that works. So how you will be enabled the ISVs. So the first thing that you need to go is you need to go through our uh, microsite. Then after you create your account and uh, you are able to use the uh, microsite, you will be able to go through this and go to apps and tools and from apps, apps and, and tools, you are able to download the driver even uh, if you're planning to use a Windows PC or if you're planning to use a Mac kind of computer. So either way, you can download the right driver for your environment. So after you have a click on it, you will be able to see the, the, uh, the uh, file on the system like you see here, then you will be unpatch the device, you will ready to start. You need to add to your workspace the printers that you're planning to use. And after that, you will be able to see this small window on your right side. And, and so that means basically that your, your printer have been fully configured for your environment in your computer or in your Mac. Okay, how to work with this new system? So there is not really too much to do or, or develop for the ISVs in order to use the um, new um, uh, small business printer. What you need to do is basically to use through a web browser, is that is what you're using for this particular case, and just develop a, a small system to capture the PDF from there and send uh, and able to use the driver. So in this particular case, what you're seeing here is the print preview of uh, one web uh, browser. So the web browser basically does everything for you. What you need to do is just generate the PDF. So once you have a generate the PDF, the PDF will be downloaded through the browser and the browser will take care of that directly from here. So you open the print preview of the web browser what you need to define is the destination. So basically this, uh, you need to select the right driver for your um, 
mo, uh, for your desktop, in this case, Soho printer, uh, you can personalize the name of the driver. So in this particular case, I have personalized the name of my driver to my new uh, zero because I have more than one printer. Then the second step that you need to do in order to print is just to select the right cartridge in order to print. So uh, because most of the focus of this new uh, small business printer are the, um, the carriers companies. So most of those are in four by six or 11.5 by 11 dimensions of the sheet. So in this particular case, we are assuming that it's four by six cartridge size, we define the scales to default and you are able to print. That's all that you need to do. So here in another example with different web browsers. So in this particular case, we are using HBRO web browser. It is the same that it was done for uh, the previous in Chrome, but uh, this in this particular case, you can see the print previews on the left side of your screen. When you open your uh, web browser, the same kind of configuration, you will be selecting the printer, you will be selecting the paper size based on the cartridge, and you will be selecting the print area just to fit, and you're ready to print. Okay, let's move now to understand a little better how this uh, ecosystem works. So, and in this particular case, we have a, developed this diagram where uh, you can uh, uh, try to figure out how all of the uh, ecosystem will work. I'm gonna start to explain the most basic things for this e-commerce um, ecosystem. The e-commerce ecosystem we have in one side is the seller, and in the preview or uh, the uh, uh, the next um, slides, you will see how that it will be so important for all of this process. So we, in this first portion of this, we had the seller at the bottom of the uh, presentation here. And also the end of the process is the Soho client. So it's, it's to where the product is going. Through all of this, we have our uh, start of the ecosystem that it normally is an e-commerce like eBay, Amazon, or Etsy. And also we have suppliers all of them are components of the ecosystem. So you will find suppliers, you will find providers, you will find delivery service uh, through um, seas or through uh, um, aircrafts. Also, you will have a small warehouses or a small local retail stores. Again, you have a local de uh, delivery, uh, delivery service and the last, portion of the is going through your home to get the product that you just bought. Okay. And through this ecosystem, we are helping to the seller. And that's where we are planning to put this printer, the new uh, Soho uh, uh, small business printer. And what we are trying to do is creating a full or uh, supporting the existing ecosystem of applications that you can find in this um, e-commerce. So there are multiples of ISB vendors that already have a very useful applications. And what we are doing with them is just doing the integration that it requires in order to use our printers. So you can see a cheap station, pirate ship, uh, TurboTask, QuickBooks, all of them, even Word, uh, Excel, all of them uh, are completely useful tools for uh, small sellers that, uh, but one of the things that they need is, is a efficient thermal printer, easy to use. So with our thermal printer, easy to use, is just the part that is complementary for this ecosystem. So the expectation is that seller will be using this uh, new target uh, small business printer. For the other components of the ecosystem, like suppliers, like the e-commerce providers, um, delivery service, we are planning to continue supporting them with the system enterprise printer. So they are already using our enterprise printers with different software in order to use them and make this very useful for automation tasks. So only for the seller, in this particular case, 
um, and in the future, maybe for clients to use our uh, small business printer. There is a sm another potential target where we can envision to see those uh, uh, small business printers are in the small warehouse or small retail store where the sellers can have those printers again because it's easy, easy to use and because the software of the uh, um, ecosystem provides the utilities to do that uh, process in order to print the labels. Okay, let's review a little more in detail one e-commerce um, system. In this particular case, we are analyzing Shopify. So in Shopify, how that works. In Shopify, on the right, on the left side, we have multiple ecosystems. Uh, Shopify is just uh, one of them and it's competitor with the commerce ways, WooCommerce or Squarespace and um, builders for e-commerce uh, pages. Into then you can uh, mix with uh, the virtual account in Amazon or even in Facebook, Google, Etsy, Instagram, Pinterest, Bing, YouTube, eBay, all of them are e-commerce ecosystems. So the buyer, the buyer could be go through any of them. So Shopify allows uh, those e-commerce uh, small business to be or to have visibility through all the other ecosystems. So, but what is important about this uh, model, the model uh, of those e-commerce allows different ISVs to uh, um, create another ecosystem based on what they can provide to them. So normally Shopify, either the other uh, e-commerce, uh, they can give you access to different APIs and at the same time, they can those APIs has subcategories of APIs. So in this particular case, let's try just to analyze one of those categories. The one that we want to analyze is just the order and shipping. And from that, there is a subcategory that you can find, and it's basically shipping rates and labels. From there, you can see that there are multiple ISVs who are connecting through this um, backend uh, Shopify app store. At the end, this is where the seller is based. So the seller have access to those different uh, modular apps that are, are able to be used on the Shopify framework or either in the other uh, frameworks of the competitors too. So with that on my uh, on place where our printer can work. So let's take a look at, uh, a little more about ShipStation. This is one of our... Um, partners that we analyze in a little more detail. So uh, this is the case for ShipStation. So in ShipStation, we have our e-commerce on the right side could be eBay. And uh, from eBay, there are different ways to access to the shipping label. So eBay has their own shipping label generator. So you access eBay and provide the information or you want to use the shipping uh, label generator from eBay, you can do it. And from there, you send to print and select the right shipping carrier. This is one of the options that you can choose if you are a buyer. Now, if you are a seller, from the seller standpoint, you have again two options to do it. You can go directly through the options that the e-commerce provides to you to use the shipping label generator or if you are an ISB who wants to use the APIs that eBay provides to you. So in those particular cases, most of the cases is just the fulfilled orders and fulfilled shipping options in cases that you wanna use part of the shipping options that eBay of the other uh, small, sorry, the big uh, e-commerce companies provide to you. But the most important one is the fulfilled order. After you capture the fulfilled orders through your uh, cloud system, uh, they are able to use uh, the internal generator that they can use for generate the shipping labels. So in this particular case, uh, they use a chip engine generator. So they use shipping engine in order to capture the APIs for the shipping carriers and for the shipping label generator and send the label to the shipping carrier. So from there or from those, you are able to use our um, Soho, uh, a small business printer, 
to print the labels. Ship station allows to uh, integrate directly through the drivers. So if you access a chip station account, you can send to print directly through our uh, small printers uh, as, as CSP series printers. Okay. How you play in this market? How uh, you can start to use and make money through this new uh, printer and how you can uh, be successful in these new markets? So the best thing that you can do is identify to get a, uh, one of the printers that we are providing. You can get this directly from Amazon. And once you get the printer, uh, the expectation is you can get a multi, uh, different um, cartridge. So you, we have, in this particular case, up to um, eight different cartridge, different sizes, in four inches, in 2.5, uh, 2.25, inches and 1.25 inches. So you can choose all of them depending what you wanna do. So you can use a small multiple uh, purpose label, address label, jewelry label, and return label, barcode label, and uh, also shipping label. So all of the different options that you can play with this, you need to choose what you wanna do with your application. And after that, you have to get the printer, and you have a, uh, an application already integrated to one of the e-commerce uh, big uh, platforms, then you can come to us, go through Partner Connect, and start to play with us and define how the best way you can integrate those printers. So that is the way we envision you to integrate your printer. Focus to get the printer, get the different sizes, design the labels, and integrate your application into the different workflows of those e-commerce uh, tasks. Okay, so here is the new uh, way that we are integrating the um, ISPs through mobile. This application is really is planning to be released by uh, last week of October. So by the time that you're seeing this presentation, you will be uh, able to download the application either from iOS or from uh, Android. The expectation with this new uh, feature that we have developed through the mobile app uh, is very powerful. So you can download any PDF label from your existing ISP application and you are able to preview the image of the label. You are able to edit and um, crop the size of the label or even if the label is, uh, is 90 degrees rotated, you are able to rotate the selection and crop the specific area you want to, uh, to print. After you have done that, you are able to print any label that we, uh, we are able to find through the uh, e-commerce market now. We have a test most of the label for FedEx, UPS, Royal Mail, Shopify, eBay, and other ones. But all of them following the workflow so it will be a powerful way that we are supporting our end users and uh, how also planning to support the ISVs who are already in the market or to the new ones who are planning to be in this new in this e-commerce market in the future. Okay, what is in the horizon? We are planning also to allow the ISPs to automate through our uh, new uh, small business printer or through our what we call Soho printer. So through the options that we have in vision to support, we already have a cover the driver. So the, we cover the driver for the Windows and Mac platform. Also, we are covering now to the, uh, through the uh, mobile devices. So ISPs are able now to print from uh, mobile devices. The end user of those ISVs can print through the mobile devices, even through iOS or through um, Android. So what is coming in the future? We are planning to allow for a specific task that needs to be automated, that the ISVs can connect through our system through uh, cloud APIs. Those APIs, we allow them in addition to uh, allow the connectivity, they will be able to print 
and also check uh, maybe a status of the printer alerts and also uh, be able to receive notifications. Okay, Zebra developers. And uh, as uh, we talk about the presentation, I wanna just do a small demo of our new uh, uh, feature capability that we developed for the uh, CSD mobile app. In this particular case, I'm gonna demo Shopify. So in Shopify, you can go to orders, in orders, you can go through all orders, choose the one of those that we have here on top. Then you can go to reprint the shipping label. You are able to choose even four by six or 11.5 by, uh, by 11 size. And in this particular case, I'm gonna choose four by six. I'm gonna choose just the uh, PDF viewer. Then from here, I am able to send out the file to our new uh, our C, uh, SB series mobile app. I am able to open the label. I'm gonna choose the right size. This is a four by six uh, label. And as you can see the preview of the label, then you are able to send, uh oh and you are able to send to print. So the label is already printed and you are able to go back to the workflow of your application where you start the process. So this is just one case with um, um, Shopify, but also there are other one uh, and another case that you can use our system and uh, our mobile app for uh, printing and is through, is through the, sorry. Your um, email. In this particular case, we wanna just look for UPS label that was sent to my email. From here, you are able to download the label. The same thing, you use the PDF viewer. This is the label and format 8.5 by 11. You send the file through our um, CSV series mobile app. You open the label in the mobile app, you choose the right label. Then you edit the label. In this particular case, we wanna rotate the selection and look for the specific size that we are looking from the vendor. In this particular case, UPS. And from here, I am able to capture the label image and now I am able to send to print. So, and after the process have been finished, I am able to go back to the previous app, in this particular case, the um, uh, email application. So at this point, I think we have covered all of these presentations. So, we are ready for questions. <laughs>